sun, moon, and stars into it. Greetings, suns and moons, and of course I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the mothership. I do appreciate all of you for your likes, your donations, your shares, the confirmations you send me through email, the positive energy you show me, the positive energy you show yourself and overall the positive way you show up in the planet. Now let's get in there like swimwear. I want to remind people I have a doppelganger, a copycat, a replica, a mini me, a WhatsApp bandit, a racist, someone that's extremely obsessed with, <laughs> with the way I pronounce words. You know, be mindful of anybody putting any links in the comment sections. Do not click on any links. All right. I also have somebody again that has my picture using my picture on other sites, pretending to be me, uh, claiming that they are going to give you a reading. Don't get hit with the he. Yeah. OK. These people are scam artists. My readings are closed. Any and all information that you need about me will be in the description box below, including a website where you could receive a free chart from a reputable site. No affiliation to me. And I want to say that I'm not affiliated with no nonprofit, no secret society. It's just me, my guides and source. All right. So with that being said, Again, we're going to get in here like swimwear. We have three or more people trying to cause some sort of con uh, confusion. Somebody wants to take a leap of faith towards you or you are leaving a very toxic situation. Something that you felt trapped or, or, or bound to. Now, keep in mind, this could be somebody in your environment thinking of you. Someone from your past, a relative, a passed over uh, loved one, an ex of yours or your divine counterpart, or even a soulmate of a high vibration or a low vibration. Take it how it resonates. If you see your son and you say, hey, that's not me doing that, well, that could very well be someone playing around in your energy. We got Gemini Virgo uh, on the board. We also have Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, and we have Sun. All right, that could be somebody's sun sign. It could be moon or rising as well as south or north node, okay? We also have Sagittarius here. Somebody could be dealing with the Sagittarius. You could have Sagittarius strong in your chart. We got strong Scorpionic energy or somebody that's on the cups, okay? This could also be an Aries or a Leo. Take it how it resonates, okay? So you took your power back. There's strength here. And I'm hearing it's strength in adversity, okay? So some people may have felt like you couldn't complete a cycle, all right? So, you know, again, we got somebody that's very much fixated and obsessed over your energy now uh somebody could be dealing with the low vibe in virgo okay you could be you could have virgo in your chart and you could be balanced or what we consider high vibe somebody's definitely dealing with the sagittarius this could also be pisces um leo gemini okay this is about communication this could be uh, communication with friends or a family member all right some of you you have been praying very hard because you got somebody obsessed with controlling your narrative okay this person needs to purify themselves this person is selfish and they're obsessive okay this person has a sick infatuation with you and your victory are you moving forward again this could be someone in your environment someone thinking of you or you're thinking of them you may may or may not know this person the eighth house belongs to scorpio this talks about taxation this talks about birth this talks about death this also talks about ending toxic cycles okay this has something to do with your spirituality. Some of you, there is a difference between uh, race, religion, creed. OK, somebody could be religious. You could be spiritual, vice versa. This is about how you get your money and how people honor you or respect you. Some of you, you're tapped into your sixth sense, whether if you read tarot, do divination or whatever it is, whatever you wherever you are is where you're supposed to be. Some of you may awaken to some sort of uh, hobby that you have that may give you some uh, extra income okay or you have a hobby if you turned it into your sole source of income you might have somebody, have somebody trying, to trying to steal your ideas or trying to distort the communication around you this is somebody that's into necromancy okay this could be somebody that's tapping your phone or something like that okay so this 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 person feels like they know something that you don't know possibly that they're tapping your phone and doing illegal work okay this could be somebody's uh family member this could be a relative a child okay uh a, um 
a passed over loved one again, they want to affect your confidence. They want you to feel distorted. Okay. So that shit is coming to an end. Somebody could be going to jail. A lot of people have already went to jail. So for those of you that say, oh, this person ain't went to jail. Okay. Just give it a minute because these individuals that have been doing this, they've been doing this in the dark for a very long time. All right. This person may have been able to end people's finances or stop somebody's victory, but we have a throne here. Okay, you could have Cancer and Scorpio mixing your chart, but somebody was trying to keep this throne. Doesn't necessarily have to be a Cancer. It could be male or female. This is somebody that walks on the dark, it, that walks in the dark and the light. This is somebody that's balanced. Okay, this is high vibrational energy here at the top. Somebody is single with Sagittarius being here. Okay. I feel like whoever this individual is that's kind of trying to come against you, they walk around in a nomadic state. This person may travel. You could travel from state to state. Some of you earn your income by traveling. Okay. So something that was previously hidden from you is coming out. Okay. I'm hearing you create your own reality. You could have Leo in your chart. This person could have Leo in, in, in their chart. All right. So somebody doesn't want you to be respected. They don't they don't feel like you deserve to be on a throne, but it's not their call. It's the divine's call here. OK, so you're somebody that's very spiritual. The ninth house belongs to Sagittarius. We're talking about higher learning, education, uh, spiritual practices. OK, this is talking about expansion. OK, the universe is granting you some sort of balance. Now, this could be somebody winning in court or this could be you meeting up with your divine counterpart. Yeah. After you spent many lifetimes, OK, 10, 20 years for some of you uh, under the control of demonic energies okay people don't like to think they are but i feel like if this is not you this is somebody that's very conceited they're materialistic is what i'm getting they're they're too concerned about what you do for a living and how people revere you or look up to you okay they don't want you to trust your intuition this person tries to cause endings secretly all right so definitely this is talking about you controlling your environment and moving forward. There's a rebirth here. Somebody was trying to analyze your strengths and weaknesses in the past. Okay. You could be a writer. Uh, yeah. I'm hearing intellectual property. Somebody could be taking your intellectual property uh, and critiquing it or something like this. This is somebody that's very intrusive. Okay. This could be somebody that you blocked off or you didn't want. You didn't want anything to do with this person. Why is the fool card here? So some of you may have took a leap of faith and you may have communicated with friends or family members or something like that. Yeah, six of swords. You move forward. Somebody wanted to keep you stuck. Okay, this person is in regret. I feel like they're getting nothing but bad news here. Okay, this person has a lot of bills, a lot of debt. And here we have the Knight of Pentacles. This person was definitely trying to stop a new beginning or trying to affect your thought process. You are somebody that works hard for whatever it is you, you do here. Okay. You could also have, you could also have a lot of uh, air energy, okay. So it kind, of, it's kind of hard to manipulate the brain of someone that is analytical, okay. You make head over heart decisions, but you know you could be a loving and caring individual. However, this person is, I'm hearing your adversary. They want to be your strongest adversary. This is somebody that may, you know. In a sick, sickly, sickly sense, they want to be you, okay? This person is trying to cause endings in your environment here, ending, endings to your work. They possibly don't want you to work with, uh, with the three of pentacles here. Some of you, you are artists. You have protection surrounding you, okay? There's a new beginning. I'm hearing a cut above the rest. Somebody wants to come in and speak some sort of truth to you about a situation. All right. This person may not like the sound of your voice. Okay. Um, Thoth is uh, the ego is, is uh, standing out. Some of you, you may see a lot of formation of birds here. Okay. Some of you may be wake, waking up by birds. This person is very irritated because they send out a lot of negative energy with the six of swords. You was able to escape something demonic is what I'm, what I'm getting here. Okay. 
with the Knight of Pentacles, you're focused on your finances. This person should be focused on their finances and they would get further. But this is somebody that maybe you pissed off in the past. OK, we got the Hermit card. So somebody may be relaxing a lot. You could be taking a lot of spiritual baths, bubble baths or something like that. This person. Yeah. So the more you cleanse your energy, the closer you, you come to this 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 partnership. OK, somebody wants to work with you. Yeah, this is something very prosperous for you. OK, for those of you that are Debbie Downers, this ain't for you. OK, we have the the Knave of Swords. Somebody coming in with some sort of swift lie is what I'm getting. With the Ten of Cups, this could be somebody confronting a family member or some family member could have lied about you or their involvement. Okay, we have the Queen of Chalices. This is somebody that's emotionally manipulative, whether if it's male or female. These cards were also on the floor in reverse. And we have Nine of Cups in the world. So this person refused to learn the lesson they want to hold on. You could be a Sagittarius and this is happening to you, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or this is who is trying to come up against you they want to stop some prosperity here this person wants you to be codependent on their energy i feel like this person was working with other people okay i'm hearing that there was a lot of false starts okay you may have uh, you may have slipped away from somebody that was very uh toxic okay this person could chant a lot, okay, or something like that. We got patience, vision, masculine energy. This is about your sexuality or the way people view you. This person is very jealous of you, okay? Some of you may have recently wore a, a swimsuit, okay? They may have been projecting negative energy on on you. They want you to feel down about yourself or depressed here. You moved away from that situation. Yeah, there was a major change. You could be a Scorpio and this is happening to you. Our Scorpio is involved as well as a Gemini or Virgo. And we also have Aquarius. Those could be the people that were trying to work against you. Why is patience here? So there's a masculine that has their eye on you, okay? They may not be saying much, but they definitely are. This could be somebody that you work with. <laughs> so here we have it. Someone you don't know, okay? So if this is not your energy and you're moving away from somebody toxic, this is somebody that's coming towards you. This is past, present, or future energy. Keep that in mind. With the nine, the nine of swords, I feel like this person is constantly talking about you. You could be a public figure. You could, yeah. Okay, we have attempted robbery and home invasion. I feel like you may have got the one up on somebody. This person is having anxiety. Are they depressed here? Possibly because they tried to, to, to rob you or they wanted to make it seem like a home invasion where somebody may try to take your life or something. What the hell? Yeah, we got thrones here clarifying. So they wanted to stop your work. We have the angels of knowledge and understanding that sits around God's throne. Okay, we got a throne here and we have a throne here. So this is speaking about your work. Somebody doesn't like the fact that you are close to, to the divine. You're somebody that's hardworking. They wanted you to be cautious about new opportunities. So we have no, lo no loyalty after Dishonor. This could have been somebody that um, is coming towards you energy. If they were in a partnership with somebody, I feel like this person was working with others, like possibly three or more people to set this individual up. That has been in the collective a lot lately. Yeah, so somebody has a lot of secrets here. This person feels like you know too much about them or about how they get their money. Why is the secrets card here? Somebody's trying to project their energy onto you. So this could be somebody's brother that's in reverse. Your nephew may have something to do with it. If it's not your nephew, it's this person's nephew. Somebody is moving away from somebody that they don't trust. Or they did in the past. This person was patient. They were watching you. They may have needed to balance their energy, like their masculine and their feminine energy. They may have been a, like codependent. 
yeah this person talks too much about you okay so this is giving me like this could be your ex or if you're on a, a platform somebody could be obsessed with your downfall okay so somebody's in a four of cups energy they're they're very they're deep in regret this person is missing you but they 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 did something they did something somebody doesn't like to hear the truth i feel like if you spoke some sort of truth to this person about someone that they were dealing with they in regret because they didn't listen to you okay so they may be off somewhere else watching you gain some sort of victory we got sagittarius energy we also have gemini it's interesting how these cards is coming out um like like this so somebody lacks imagination they're uncertain of their place in this world. Somebody could be a Gemini or a Scorpio. But what this is giving me, this is a soul contract. This is a low vibrational soulmate that either you were dealing with or that they were working with to come against you. Anything else about this person that we don't know? For some of you, this is a masculine. Okay. They're wanting to take a leap of faith towards you. But, I, you know, you, you're just chilling here with, with the hermit. You're just chilling here. You could have ghosted this person or they ghosted you. Someone you don't know. This could be a, a, a masculine's friend or their ex here or child's mother or something. They may have been working with this person against you in the past. Okay, They wanted you to feel down or something. Possibly because they ghosted you. They, this person wanted you to chase them. Yeah, disassociate. <laughs> so... You want this person to leave you alone, okay? This person may, they may have tried to do some sort of binding work and, you know, when they, like, obsess, okay? When they obsess over you, are constantly thinking of you or chanting or whatever they're doing here. I'm hearing this person has a disassociative personality. Like, I, I don't know what this is. This this may be a, the type of individual that when you reject them, they become obsessed. You could have been showing this person love or whoever this is. They were showing somebody love in the past, but they didn't. They rejected this person and they moved forward. This could be somebody that you just had a brief encounter with. Okay. Somebody wasn't listening in the past, possibly about a, a robbery or in, in, or something like that. Okay. Yeah, this person is closed off. I feel like they may have, they may know that somebody was trying to set them up to be robbed. Whoever this snake in the grass is, this is somebody that conjures up negative, negative energy. Okay, somebody could be gang stalking you or somebody's involved with a gang or they try to have a gang member try to rob you or something. We have law of paradox. Two or more people see our approach and issue differently. So this is somebody, they're so, uh, you know, this is getting tiring, but they're so obsessed with your energy. Like they, they think they know you better than you. So this person is like, and they're sickly trying to be one one up like one up you or something like that but they like they they do things wrong like yeah they think they know what you're gonna do before you do it this is this is what it's given me but you approach a situation totally different i'm hearing you lead with love yeah look at this you lead with love okay grace mercy they may have tried to implicate you when they came through with a swift lie with the Knight of Swords in reverse. Okay. So somebody's going to find out that you were innocent in a situation. Possibly your family members. Somebody could be getting married or they were married to someone here. Okay. Yeah. So this came up a few months ago. Somebody does spell work and then they go to their family and make it seem like it's you. Okay. So here, yeah, the burning, this is the burning bush. So somebody wasn't paying attention to their intuition. There, you may have cut off this family member. And this is the reason why they were accusing you of doing things that you didn't do. Like, I'm, I'm getting you don't miss your water till your well runs dry. We have, it's always about vibrations. Opposites attract to learn lessons. That's a quote by me. 
So this person, this person didn't see you as blessed or highly favored. You know, the whole thing, uh, you know how it goes, right? So this was a lesson. You were attracting people that were your total opposite. So you can balance your energy. They needed to take on some of your positive energy and you needed to take on some of their negative energy, how they treated you. Okay. I'm also hearing keep the same energy. So this person is disconnected, they're burdened, their third eye is blocked. They could have tried to do that to you. Yeah, because you wanted to be alone. Some of you, you want to travel. Or this person could be traveling. Somebody could be a tourist or dealing with the tourist. This person was hoping that you didn't find out something. What, what is this? What is this? Why is this here? It's layers to the shit. Someone tells the truth or a decoration. So you may have told the truth about a family member or their family member. This person could have cut this person off because they realized that you were innocent in a situation. And so this person may also be going to their family members and lying to them, wanting to get consoled about some shit that they created here. What is this? Yeah, nine of cups in reverse. This is a, this is somebody that's a victim of their own deeds here. This could be like a narcissist. The where yeah, the world card in reverse. This is somebody that refused to learn their lesson. They keep doing something over and over and over again, expecting to get the same, uh, a different result. This is somebody that's insane. Yeah, they have a lesson here. You may have a lesson. Yeah, downfall. They kept doing things repeatedly over and over and over. For some of you, even 10 years, 7 years, or, or something like this. This conjurer, whoever this is. They, were, they had a mask on. This was a hidden enemy. Why is downfall here? This could have been an enemy of who, somebody that they was in a relationship with. Okay, that they was trauma bonding somebody. Ooh. Yeah, they were in a relationship. We, the, to, both of the marriage cards together. <laughs> Child, what? So somebody's refusing to learn a lesson because they keep going back to this relationship of convenience. There could be a doc, you know, they could have like a contract. This is not a spiritual contract. This is a man-made contract, okay? So somebody keeps trying to go back to a karmic soulmate here, somebody that they possibly married, or this could be common law. All right. This person hasn't learned their lesson. They want to believe that this person is innocent, but they're not. They're not. Somebody needs to speak some sort of truth in this situation. What's this? Yeah. <laughs> so the Google magic backfired. Somebody could also be trying to, again, uh, do some form of binding work on you, your finances, your throat chakra, or something like that. This could be a mother figure, your mother, an aunt, okay, a child even, okay? So this is a lesson for this person because they have low self-worth. This person does magic to get everything that they want, and it backfired here. Somebody feels trapped. Why is this here? You disassociated from this person. You, I feel like you knew. You, you knew something was odd in this situation. This person was playing head games with somebody. So, yeah. For some of you, you may you you just had a brief encounter with this person, and you moved forward. You already knew it was a test here, and that's why you gained a victory. You may have spoke some sort of truth about someone. You could also be a reader and you were thinking, is this person doing something uh, underhanded to me? You may have been thinking, I don't know this person, so why would they do that? You are right about your thoughts because this person knows your energy here. They were energy harvesting is what I'm getting. We have traveling, new information. Greatness is your birthright. Kola Sani Yaki. You may need to look that up. Somebody's overcoming an illness here. Somebody could somebody could have 
Okay, so yeah, somebody could have like a mental illness or this person was trying to project illness onto you. And when it goes back to them, they go to their family members and say, this person is doing magic on me. Yeah, they needed to sur they need to surrender. This person has mental illness. Okay, this person is, a this person is watching you, stock stalking you, studying you. This person may have wished death on you. Okay, they may have even tried to hire somebody to shoot at you or something like that. And then they was acting like they didn't have nothing to do with it. Okay, I'll write my way out. Okay, so this is somebody that's trying to create a narrative. Some of you, you may be using the laws of attraction, 369 manifestations or something like that. This person could also be like, writing things like I mean, I'm seeing somebody writing things seven times or something they're trying to cause a hurricane in your life some sort of disaster whoever this psychopath is or something like that somebody could be a cook or this person was cooking up something they, they're always thinking of something evil I'm hearing they don't want to work here you spoke some sort of truth about this person and somebody was ho uh, was hoping other people didn't listen to you or they thought you, they wanted somebody to feel like you were crazy or they could have been secretly conversing with your family members you could have a family member that wants to speak some sort of truth to you okay some of you your family members may uh, yeah so the queen of challenges this is somebody that uh they they write Okay, there's some sort of documentation about what this person was doing. Okay, so this is causing somebody a lot of stress here because they spent a lot of time, money, and energy trying to block you. They just wanted you to be depressed. The ninth could be significant, the sixth, the fourth, the thirteenth. Okay, this could be, um, what is the thir thirteen is Scorpio, nine is Sagittarius. What is six? Six could be uh, six could be Gemini or Cancer. Take it how it resonates. This could be cusper energy. So it could be a Libra or something like that, or Sagittarius as well. But what I'm getting is um, whoever this person is, this victim of their own deeds, they have multiple accounts. So this is somebody this is somebody that's stalking you using your picture. And they could possibly be trying to reach out to your family members pretending like they are you. They could also be like going to other readers or other platforms trying to stir up stuff. Okay? Um with other readers if you're a content creator or just in general they want to dirty your name because this person this is the secret. They think that they they think that you don't know what they're doing here. They're power hungry. They're greedy. Some of you may have watched this person. Some of you may, some of you may have watched your doppelganger. Somebody's aunt, or great aunt, or great uh, grandmother, or mother. This could be also be a, a grandmother that is passed over. That person could like they could have been like a natural healer or something like that. So we have Archangel Jermail, God lifts me up, visions and dreams, Scorpio, discouraged or trouble. Somebody could also be in the, uh, into the same sex here. Anything else? This person, yeah. Somebody could be gaining weight or they wanted you to gain weight or they didn't like the fact that you gained weight, like uh, some sort of influence. You could have got a promotion. Yeah, we got the intersex card. So this person's a part of the LGBTQIA community. I'm not saying that is anything wrong with that, but this person is not accepting of themselves here. They could also have a baby on the way. This person lacks direction and focus. Somebody could have signed your name on some sort of document. Okay, so for some of you, this is who they met up with. Somebody from your past. Okay, they, they just want... They could have been working with this person. They could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. They could have married this individual. Like, this is crazy. You uncovered something that was hidden, and they didn't like it. Yeah, deceptive. So we got, you know, we got Superwoman here. You know, they're going to come in and save the day. They're going to hop over trucks and leaps, and they dun-da-da-dun. 
I sent you all this negative energy. Now I'm here to save the day. They're very deceptive here. So this person met their match. You could be seeing 333 three, three for some of you. Okay. This person may stick their tongue out a lot. Like, you know, I don't know. Oh, they need to do some shadow work. Okay. This person does not. They're, they're out. They're out on the knowledge here. This is, again, we got the world card in reverse. This person continuously repeats past cycle. This is somebody that's obsessed with you. And if this is an ex or somebody that wanted to be with you, they're stalking you with somebody that is equally as insane as them. They could be thumbs downing your content if you are a content creator. But this is somebody that's hoping that you don't know it's them. But energy, their energy, yeah. Could be somebody's child's mother or somebody's mother. Okay. So, yeah. It could be their in laws or a friend of the family. We got kissing cousins, child. Just, ooh, sicko. Anything else? Mm, mm, mm. Let me get out of this. Pyramid scheme. So they're a bunch of scam artists. This is a family of scam artists. All right. So somebody could live in an impoverished country. You could have social or political issues between you and this person. Some of you could live on sacred land or you're going to a sacred land. But I feel like this person was working with somebody, you know, on the other side of the continent. Okay, they could have been, I, I'm getting Nigeria or Africa. Like somebody's working with a Sangoma. They could be hiring somebody to do spell work on you. And I'm hearing on your family also. They're very triggered. Okay. So we have healing. You are somebody that's angelic. All right. They wanted to play on your vulnerability. This was a soulmate. Okay. Are there? Yeah. This was a soul, like a lower level soulmate. It's causing towers in their own life. I know y'all get tired of hearing that, but I'm just, I'm just telling you. There's a karmic woman involved that's only loyal to themselves. They may have felt like this person was for them, but they're definitely not. This person is sick. So they try to set you up or plot on you and it backfired. Okay. I feel like this individual it may have even slept with one of their family or friend family or friends of yours or theirs. But this is giving me this somebody, your ex energy. You uncovered something that they did. They may have tried to blame you for something you didn't even know. Okay. They could have filed some false police reports trying to cause a tower. This person is being investigated. I'm going to tell you because I feel it. Okay. That they tried to attempt to rob you or some something like that. Some of you may have caught it on tape or something. We got, uh, this came out in reverse. What's the worst hangover that you've ever had? Were you able to elevate? Uh, I mean alleviate it at all or did you just suffer describe a time you drank yourself into oblivion what the hell was going on are you okay now are you okay gluttony yeah what are you convinced you'd be good at despite never have tried it oh my god so this person whatever you do they want to do it too okay I'm hearing your spiritual calling. What's an expectation your parents had for you that you never met? Are they disappointed with you? Pride. So this person is full of pride and, and ego. What's the most messed up thing you can remember hearing me say? What's the worst name you've ever called someone you love? Did you apologize? Okay, so yeah, they have a sick, a sick sense of what love is. All right, very greedy or this is what they're dealing with. This is crazy. So they could have said that you were alcoholic or you are a drug addict and, and this was a lie or <laughs> whoever this karmic woman is. Okay, they also said that like they like put a lot of lies to whoever this person is to get this person to do some sort of spell work. But what I'm getting is this person knew. If this person watches you, they knew that this wasn't you. They just wanted the money. And now they're all receiving a tower moment and people are watching it. Yeah, this partnership can't be separated. Exactly, because there's a divine partner here. All right. I'm hearing it's adding fuel to the fire. A lot of people are receiving karma for dealing, like for trying to destroy innocent people. That's all I got to say. And I'm going to leave it there. Deuces.